Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is the start again of my most popular series on YouTube. If you look at my most popular uploads, there's a little playlist section on the bottom of the channel, um, which you can click on down there. And this vi these videos did so well last year, like genuinely some of them are, well there's one over 10,000 views, there's one nearly on 10,000 views. And a lot of them just have so many views. I mean, combined, they probably have like 25,000 views or something. It is absolutely ridiculous how many views they did. And it was such a fun series to record. I loved doing it. I thought, I wasn't sure whether to bring it back this year. You know, I was, I was sitting there comp contemplating it at the start of the year. You know, should I bring this back? Is it going to be as popular as last year? Is it worth me doing? But we finally got to it. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. So today is season one, episode one of pre-contracts and there is going to be 60 of these players in total so what I've done is only done, shown you the first 15 we're going to put it into four episodes so it's a little bit more manageable we can talk a little bit more about the players in depth rather than try and rush through the whole 60 in a row now this time around I'm probably only going to do three seasons worth I think when we get into the fourth and fifth season it's less relevant you know a lot of you don't play for quite that long we'll see nearer to the time I'm not promising anything right now but to crack it off, we've got Lichtensteiner here, obviously, from Juventus. I used to love Lichtensteiner and FIFA. You know, he's a player that, you know, sometimes can be a little bit, you know, um, strange. You know, he can also play in right mid, which is fantastic as well. He's got high, high work rates, which isn't great, but overall, very well on his stats. And definitely someone I recommend. Now, the, the thing you've got to remember, as last year, these players, you know, they're going to be a year older than the point they are now. You know, I'm only in the first season right at the start. So when you get these players, they'll be a year older. In the second season, they'll be two years older, three years, four years, five years, so on and so forth. So do bear in mind the ages are going to be very slightly different in this episode. Just one year in it. But anyway, let's try and the first one. Now, next on the list is Pepe from Real Madrid. I really like Pepe as a player. He's been someone that obviously, you know, over the years, he's, he's quite an aggressive player. Where is his aggression? His aggression is 94, as you can see. He's a very aggressive player, likes to get involved. Sometimes that cannot be for the best, you know, sometimes he will get involved a little bit too much and can result in, you know, getting penalised for it and whatnot. But 88 rated, you know, by the time you get him at 34, he's still going to be a fantastic player for the second season. And if you're at a club that can afford his wages, but maybe isn't like right at the top of the league, this is definitely someone to pick up because he is a fantastic player, 6 foot 2. You know, I, I don't mind Pepe and Thief, I'm not a big fan of him in real life, I don't agree with the way that he plays the game, but nevertheless... And Koscielny, who is one of the better players on this list, I think, personally, um, with the 85 rating, obviously, going to be 31 at the time. Overall, we're on a player. Obviously, I love Koscielny being an Arsenal fan. I think he is just a solid, solid centre-back. And I've used him an awful lot in Ultimate Team this year, and I do highly recommend him. He is fantastic and definitely someone you should look to pick up. Gonzalo Rodriguez, someone that we've used before in the Fiorentina Crimo back in FIFA 15 a little while ago now. But again, an okay player. I wouldn't particularly recommend this guy, but he is there if, you know, you're looking for a backup, you're at a slightly smaller, maybe mid-table team. This is definitely someone that you should look into getting. Per Mertesacker, someone I could not recommend particularly. I mean, he's okay in FIFA. He had a Team of the Year card, I think back in FIFA 14 it might have been. and uh, no, Not Team of the Year card, sorry. A Team of the Season card. And he was incredible, like genuinely incredible. But, you know, the thing that lets Mertesacker down, as always, is his speed and his pace. You know, just, just in general, his speed and, you know, that sort of thing. Like, he's just not that great. But, again, if you need him, he could be worth it. A legend among footballers here in uh, yeah, Shabby Alonso. He is just fantastic. You know, he is getting old, and I could, wouldn't recommend him to be honest. But I think did we sign him back in the Fiorentina series? I feel like we did. And Alonso is just an amazing player. Like he is really well rounded. But again, a little bit old. But again, if you need someone, just you know, you maybe you just want to bring a legend in just for the fun of it. Then go and get him. You know, he's still a fantastic player. De Rossi, someone that we used before as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, I've used a lot of De Rossi. He is a great player, an absolute tank, a bit of a legend in the Serie A now. No, well, nowadays, should I say, six foot one, all round a very good uh, CDM. He is a one club player, so do be aware that it is going to be fairly hard to get De Rossi away from Roma. But if you can and you want to, you know, he would not be a bad choice. Iron Robin, someone that we obviously used again in the Fiorentina series, he was incredible for us. Cannot recommend this guy enough. He's lightning quick. You know, his free kicks are good, his shooting's good, everything about Iron Robin is good. He was amazing for us when we used him. He was obviously getting on a little bit, but for a season or two, he would probably do the job. And bringing in these guys in on a free transfer, guys, is really what makes this so incredible. Like, you know, to get the players like Robin and players like Alonso and, you know, the players that are in this list, like Pepe as well, and the ones you haven't seen yet, they are just incredible for the amount that you bring them in for. You know, all you have to do is pay these guys' wages. Now, next is Yaya Torre. I love this guy. Legend on FIFA. Great player on FIFA as well. And although he is getting on a little bit, could not recommend really him enough. You know, he is just... 
look at these stats. You know, for how old he is, he is really good. I mean, he is going slightly downhill over the years. That's what you come to expect from players in FIFA, though, you know. No matter how well they do in real life, as they get older, they tend to get shot on a little bit with the ratings and stuff. That's just something that you've got to come to expect, but still a fantastic player. Frank Ribery, someone that in recent years not been quite as good on FIFA as you would like, and obviously in real life that will reflect that as well. You know, he's not the player that he once was, but he's still a good player, you know, a really cheap player to buy an Ultimate team. He's still got the five star skills, so if you're looking for a five star skiller for maybe one season or so, just to mess around with Frank Ribery if you've never used him before, and uh, he got backs into player. Oh, I didn't actually know that was a trait, and for some reason there's like a trait missing there as well. But yeah, he is injury prone, which is something to note there, but apart from that, a very well-rounded player. Uh, Santi Cazorla, someone that I don't like using in FIFA or Football Manager for that fact. I used him in Football Manager a while ago um, on an Arsenal save, and I just did not like him. Um, he's just not the best player. Like, yeah, he's got good stats, but for some reason he just, he, I don't know, he just doesn't feel right. And I never have enjoyed him in FIFA, he's quite slow. And he's just not as clinical as I would like. But someone, again, that you could pick up is worth a little bit of money. You could always pick him up and just sell him. That is an option with all of these players. They do still hold their values quite a lot. You know, some of these players are worth a lot. We've got Danny here as well um, from Zenit. A player that I used to like using a long time ago. Again, a little bit far past it at this point. But high-low work rates is fantastic. And to be fair, four-star, four-star, he's not bad. Like, you know, when he's going to be up, he's probably been nearly 33, if not 33, by the time you get him. So, at that point, you know... I don't know, he, he's not terrible, he's not terrible at all, but at the same time, you know, there is better players out there. But for a mid-table team, a lot of these players would suit. We've got the big man himself, Zlatan Ibrahimovic from Manchester United, 90 rated, 34 years old. I don't care how old this guy is, I would still sign him, just for the fact he's a monster. You know, four-star, four-star, unfortunately he doesn't have the five-star anymore, but medium-low work rate, Zlatan is a king. You know, he's massive, he is a tank, you know, he's six foot five. Yes, he's not that quick. But he is lethal. He is lethal as fuck. And he is great. So I could not recommend him enough. And the last one on the list is Artis Adderis, who is a very good player, actually. Very underrated, I think, in FIFA. Fantastic player he is. You know, he's only got the three star, but I think he's a very good striker. Only thing really limiting him is, you know, he's not the fastest and he is quite old. You know, he's going to be like 36 by the time you get him. You've got to remember that he is going to be fairly old. But at the same time, I still think he's worth picking up. You know, he, he is a fantastic player. But as I said... You just have got to watch these things with these guys that they're not going to be quite as good as you want. And they are going to be a little bit older because their contracts are running out. They tend to be kind of the older players that, you know, the clubs seem to let go. I mean, everyone in this list is 30 plus. So you've got to remember that. But there will be more in the next episode, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching the first episode of Pre-Contracts. I've really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have too. If we can smash over 10 likes for the return of this series, guys. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't already, please do go and subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode very, very soon. Peace.